Hello there guys, my name is Jay Gimpy Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Engineers. So today we're taking a look at something that will become very very handy in the world of Medieval Engineers and it's cranes basically. Um, these things will be very very useful to you especially when survival comes around. I know the game isn't even out yet but we've always got to anticipate when survival comes out. So these things will really help move items and materials especially when we can have like maybe crates or cargo containers of some sort that we can attach to these so we can lift up and down and move items around. So that would be really really useful to have. Um, what I'm actually wanting to look at doing is maybe have a cart um, try and work how, how the hell carts work and maybe have one that enables you to attach it at the top so if you do put anything in it it can lift it but some people have stated that this I, this whole telegraph pole looking thing does won't work in the real life my my whole argument is it's not the real life and this is just exploiting the game to its best potential and you can walk through the ropes they're, like, they're not even a physical item it's it's you know so that's that's my sort of take on them. There are no metal beams yet either, so you can't attach metal beams to these on rotating things. So the reason why that was created as it is is because it is purely a design that is just exploiting the game's mechanics to its poten best potential. So using the telegraph pole, what I've been able to achieve is this system of a crane. Now. Some people have asked about having this attached to a reel which then moves. That doesn't really work at the moment because reels are a bit strange. Um, the reels on this, I don't know, they, they, they're they just weird at the moment. They don't seem to enable, I can't have one on this end that rotates as well as have this one that goes rotates downwards. So it's you're just relying on these as like, you know, your, your reels as such, but they're not really in any more rope than they already have. So, the way this works is, again, if I do this, it moves upwards, and actually, I'll show you I'll show you a better view. I'll go F8. I'll show you a much better view of this crane. So this is, like, my stablest design. Um, there were a few others in this world, but I deleted them purely out of the fact that they didn't work as well as I wanted them to. So, as you can see, it works this way. You know, if, if I hit Alt and T, it moves it downwards and goes the opposite way. Of course the mechanic, uh, well the actual movement of my character is a bit derpy still. and um, They haven't actually released an update for this yet. And there you go. So that is, you know, how it works and what it does in a nutshell. It works really, really well. It's really quick. And more importantly, my character can do this with no sort of, you know, no problems. And the speed is really good on it as well. I haven't tried it with weight on the bottom. But I'd assume it's the same at the moment. But I think we should actually try that out. So let's reel this downwards. Let's bring it a bit further down. And just do a bit of a test, adding on some weight. So if we go into here, we actually have a weight block, which is literally just like a block of metal or something. So we've added it, and it does actually have some sort of effect. Um, but I think that's more down to the fact that I've added something to the item that is connected to the reel. Because this is, tends to be a bug if you add anything else to it, it tends to bug the crap out. Can we link the rope? Oh, come on. There we go. So that obviously didn't work then. Okay, here we go. So it's a little bit slower to move. And, you know, but we, we can still lift it. We can still lift. Let's give that another go, actually. Um, oh my god. Yeah, there you go. So it's broken now for a little second. Um, still a bit rocky. I mean, that's something I can't help. Uh, but let's, let's, let's add some ridiculous way up to this and see what happens. See how slow we can get it moving. Because if so, this if we knew how much each of those blocks weighed, we could actually find the sort of weight limit for lifting capacity on this, oh, oh, oh. which would be really quite useful because then you could sort of look at something's weight and go, okay, we can't lift that, rather than just trial and error. But let's give this a go. So it still moves at a, oh, at a fairly consistent rate, and I've actually destroyed the crate. <laughs> 
Well, that was weird. It moved a little bit too quickly and everything crumbled apart. So that's a bit of an issue. Hmm. Excuse the broken stuff there as well. I had a bit of a play around earlier. Broke a few things. So this crane is very useful for survival because you don't need a crane that... Well, it depends on your use, but you don't really need a crane that sticks out too far. You only really need it to stick out as far as the wall is. So if I say added another, you know, added another block there, then this would reach past it perfectly still. So it's got that reach to it. It's got like a two block reach. And it's, again, very stable. And I haven't had any issues with it sort of, you know, crashing or breaking or anything like that. But as you see, we had a bit of an issue with the, with the actual sort of lift section of it but that was probably down to the box hitting the floor too quickly and destroying themselves so that is cranes guys they're very very easy to build very very useful especially when it will come to um, survival because by the looks of it they've got a whole heap of blocks i want to add to the game um because there's like not even i'd say not even 50 60 percent worth of all the blocks in this yet because the blocks they showed on the video for the trailer aren't in here yet so that may have been a, a you know a play around build that they had but still it's fairly fairly good fairly useful I hope that didn't save then so it froze for a second but this is the other idea that I've got which is more of a, um, a flatter version of the telegraph poles over there this just allows it to move in the opposite direction now of course if you had something um, attached to this you could spin it so you could maybe have a gear or a cog I'm actually looking at an idea of having cogs. Um, so if I take a copy of this and drop it down. I'm actually looking to um, break all this apart, let that drop to the floor for now, that'd be fine. And I'm actually looking to generate some kind of um, wheel. But the wheel has like gaps in it. So if we go five on that one as well. So with this, you'd have these coming out the sides, but then you'd have like um, things sticking out like this, and they'd sort of mesh together and one turn equals whatever, something like that anyway. Um, still a bit of a an idea, and it's not really been put down on paper yet. But I think it would work, because there are no cogs in this yet, but if I sort of generated something like this, if you see that there, then it's like, you know, you could easily mesh them together by just copying and pasting them into the area, or just building them together. And then when you, of course, turn the one, the other one will turn. Depending on the ratio you've got it set to, of course, it will spin faster or slower. So, that is the idea, but I haven't put that on paper yet. So, hopefully this has showed you guys a bit more to the telegraph poles that, um, you know, can be used in the game. They are very useful, and they are very, um, but yeah, they're just in general very useful to transfer power to something else, or transfer, you know, rotational energy to something else. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have, please like, favorite, and of course, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!